All right, good evening everybody. Tonight we're going to be diving into a special topic as to what the Fujiara effect is and how does it affect the state of Michigan. You have probably heard this term on the news quite a bit here recently, but what exactly is the Fujiara effect? Let's dive in. The Fujiara effect is when two areas of low pressure interact with each other. They dance around each other, eventually getting closer to each other to where usually the larger one ends up absorbing the smaller area of low pressure. These two storm systems can rotate around each other, creating a much larger footprint than what they would originally have, and we are definitely seeing that here as the footprint of Hurricane Herlene becomes much larger. You can see it starts to revolve around this area of low pressure, slowly revolving itself around until eventually it merges and gets absorbed by this upper level low. As it does, this upper level low also gains all of the moisture that is associated with Helene, and that is going to cause a lot of rainfall across the Kentucky Valley, Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valleys, and cause significant flooding in areas as well. But what does this mean for the state of Michigan? How are we going to feel the effects? Well, as we look into it here, this is Friday evening. We can start to see some rain and scatter showers across the southern counties, mainly along I-94 corridor. And as we see that, most of the precipitation is going to be on the lighter side. Maybe most picking up anywhere from a few tenths to a half an inch max, especially near the Indiana-Ohio border. So rainfall is not really going to be a big issue here with Helene over the weekend. A few scattered showers possible, cloudy skies, but overall, not a big rainmaker for the state of Michigan. However, another story to talk about is the wind associated with the remnants of Helene. As we move into Friday, gusty winds out of the northeast will begin to pick up around 10 to 15 miles per hour possibly gusting to 25 to 30 miles per hour, especially along and south of the I-94 corridor. All right, I just want to say thank you for joining here on this special topic of interest on the Fujiara effect. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.